a woofer. We're currently woofing on a farm in uh, Normandy, in France, called Les Costilles. And um, we've been here since November, and we've been here for about a total of three months now. Now, woofing used to be originally working weekends on organic farms, but uh, now it's changed quite a lot. People call it worldwide working on organic farms. Um, yeah, there's a whole load of acronyms that people use for it. But essentially what it is, is that you choose a place, choose a country, and apply to individual uh, organic farms. You basically work around four or five hours a day, five, five days a week. Um, and in return for your work, you get to stay on the farm in uh, any accommodation they have to offer, and usually all your food is included too. Uh, general day-to-day -day, uh, tasks. What we do, we get up in the morning about eight o'clock. This is us in our kitchen having breakfast, making our porridge. I'm not gonna put that on the block. Tiny little place. Another thing we have to do every day is just to check on the chickens. Let them out in the morning, through there, and uh, just give them some food. So uh, one of our daily tasks is to feed the pigs every morning. So that's what I'm about to do now. And at the moment they're getting some nice rotten apples. Maybe you can hear them already. Here they are. Mmm, apples. Now these guys are a bit quieter. Next uh, thing we usually do is to go uh, tend our polytunnel, which is where we're growing some radishes, some uh, lettuce, spinach, a few other things as well. That's our polytunnel. And uh, as you can see, it's extremely muddy at the moment because pretty much every day it's been raining very heavily. To walk through every day. Ah, here are greens. So we got some radish sure what that is, then more radish, some lettuce in between, radish, lettuce, radish, lettuce, radish, and then these guys here are our little baby leeks, and then here we got some more little radish, lettuce, and then our famous spinach coming along nicely, and then here, this is lamb's lettuce. So uh, what we do every day here is just check on the weeds, do a bit of watering. This is one of the trickier things to do with a camera in your hand. And now I have to make my way across here again. Treacherous path. the uh, polytunnel done for today. Next on the uh, on the agenda today, well normally we walk the dogs so I guess we'll start doing that soon. So gardening wise well it's um, a bit out of season but when we first came we uh, harvested a lot of vegetables so we harvested a lot of parsnips a load of potatoes, probably about 30 kilos of potatoes, 
a lot of uh, salad that we used up when we first got here. So we got the kale, we got the spinach, and just normal lettuces as well, and some chard. This is our little car on the farm. Nice old landy. It's our Woodstock. This is our little cottage. Another one of our things to do on the farm is to keep the dogs exercised. So there's a couple of big dogs here, so we take them for about an hour to walk a day. Unfortunately, my uh, boots have a fairly large hole in. So every time I go for a walk, my feet get totally soaked. Now there's a river that's been created in the middle of the field. Now that's how much rain we've had. Just when you think it won't get any wetter, it just gets wetter. Yeah, my feet are totally soaked now. And this is the point in the walk where we lose the dogs. Seems to have caught some trails of some deer. We're coming to the end of our walk. Next thing on the agenda is to make some lunch. So what are we gonna have for lunch? She's shy, doesn't know. I think some bread and some cheese, maybe some eggs. Free range organic eggs. Nice. What shouldn't you be afraid of doing? Get dirty. <laughs> Getting your hands dirty. <laughs> now it's time for some lunch. Some bread we baked. A bit of cheese. Quite a low ceiling in here. And only just fit. Uh, another main part of our job is in the evenings we usually cook a meal all together. So, um, a lot of our hours are spent cleaning up the vegetables from straight from the earth onto the table. It takes a long time. So washing, preparing all the veg, cutting, making sure they're cooked, and then making a nice stew for everyone to enjoy together. Twenty nine pies going in. Pretty much all our food comes from the farm itself. It's almost sustainable in the summer. They think about 90% of the food that they eat, they get from the ground here. So other things we get from here, usually get one or two liters of fresh unpasteurized milk, which we've made nice cheese out of um, to make pizzas. And then when we're not having dinner with everyone um, who will also work on the farm and the family, we usually just make a soup with all the vegetables, blend them up, and it's a nice, uh, hardy way to warm yourself up in the winter. And our last task of the day is just to close up the chickens, make sure that they're all back inside, protected from any uh, naughty foxes or um, the cold at night. And then we're pretty much done for the day. Time to relax, kick back, have some drinks. <laughs> so what have you made? Matching soup. Yellow soup, yellow girl. Raining outside.
Thank you.